Hello there, Andrew Rodley from WeBuildYourBlog.com and very recently I had a guest post published on the FamousBloggers.net blog website and my guest post was called 43 Blogger Tips, what you should do after installing WordPress and that's exactly what the blog post is about, giving you some tips on what you should do after installing WordPress. Um, just to make your blog site a little bit more uh, SEO more friendly, make it get indexed by Google, making it more secure, all those sorts of things. And I thought it would be a great idea if I just shared with you via a video how you actually implement some of the tips. Because some of the tips are really easy to do uh, and some of them are a little bit more, they need a bit more tweaking, that sort of thing. So I thought if I would, I could create a series of videos to go through every single tip and share with you how I would do it. So I'm going to go through the, uh, let's do the first four. Uh, and number one, so adjust your time zone under general settings. So basically you log into your dashboard and I've already logged into mine here and you go to your uh, general link under settings and here's my time zone here and you just basically change your time zone to whatever it is locally in your area. So you can see here it's 2.30 in the afternoon in the UK um, and also on this screen you can change your how you how you uh, format your date, how you format the time, um, whether your week starts on a Monday or a Sunday or whatever day you want it to do and then you just save changes and that's all there is to changing the time zone. If we then go back to number two, number two is about nested comments. Now nested comments makes it easier for your uh, readers to see any replies on and what other people have said. So if I if I click on this, um, this is a recent blog post of mine and you can see here if I just go up to the you can see here that someone here has commented and I've replied and you can see that it's different with regards to the shading in the background and if I scroll down a little bit more and there's another one and another one so you can just see so so this one here is the original comment different shading for the guy's reply for the person who's replied and then I've replied to the guy who's reply who did this, the first reply so it's a different shading again and I, then I replied to the original person in the comment are you following uh, <laughs> so um, but basically it nests the comments and it makes it lovely and easy for your blog reader your blog visitor to, to read the comments and make them stand out a little bit more and basically what you do you go to your dashboard again and you click on your discussion settings really easy to do and because in in the current in the recent versions of WordPress I think you might have to be on version 2.8.6 and above or something like that um, this is a fairly recent thing WordPress have added and basically there's a checkbox which it says enabled threaded nested comments and if you check that box and then you can say how many levels deep does the actual nesting go so one two three four five up right up to ten um, so check the box, decide on number, I've decided on five, you can decide on any number you want, I would suggest at least three and you come down and you save changes and so that's how you do tip number two and then tip number three which is get yourself a gravatar which is basically if you if I go back here you can see see there's a little picture next to each of the commenters that's what we call a gravatar and if you add one of those to your email address you it follows you around wherever you comment on a blog site using that same email address and most people have them so that person there doesn't have a gravatar um, CJ does obviously I do um, Joshua does you can see all these different people who do and who don't and I think it makes a big difference if um, you have a gravatar with regards to comments plus you're less likely to be class as a spammer because most spammers don't have a gravatar uh, in my experience so I think it's definitely worth having that gravatar and the way you do that well I'm not going to show you how to do that because on my blog already I have a step-by-step -step process of how to do that and it's if you go to my blog site and do a search you can just say search for add an image or something like that but how to add an image when you add a blog comment and basically this blog post will step you through step by step exactly what you've got to do to set up an avatar and it's definitely worth doing that really is worth doing that and
And the fourth one which I want to quickly cover today is get yourself a, a dis personally designed header banner. Uh, it just makes it stand out a little bit more. Mine, I think mine could be changed. Um, if I go up to the top here, this is mine. So it tells you the, where you are and it tells you what my little slogan is. Um, it's not brilliant. It's, it's pretty good. It tells you what it is. Uh, I'm thinking of changing it shortly. Um, but definitely, if you look on most blog sites, they have their own banner ed header, which is so. This is famousbloggers.net. Um, so definitely, it's worth investing thirty, forty, fifty dollars. Uh, that sort of amount of money to 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 have your own uh, header banner rather than a standard one, which everyone else has got. So that's what I'm going to do with regards to this video, those first three, and in the next video, we're going to talk about the next X number, I don't know how many yet, let's see what happens. Uh, Andrew Rondo from webuildyourblog.com, speak to you all very very soon, all the best, bye bye.